Hey everyone, welcome to my morning routine. Y'all, we're leaving it at hey because I'm from New York where you don't ever say good morning, okay? Yeah. No, but for real, welcome to my morning routine. I have been doing so much research and basically just studying the morning routines of so many wealthy and successful people, and they all have a very strategic routine in the mornings. So I said, hello, we're trying to get there too. So we're going to establish this morning routine 2024, okay? And it's been going pretty good so far. So I'm not going to lie. I am the type of person that I do set at least five alarms. It is so difficult for me to wake up in the morning. Like, unless it's a flight that I have to catch, I cannot wake up. It is so hard. So maybe by the end of the year, we could, like, work to reduce it to three. Who knows? Maybe even one alarm. But as for right now, we're leaving it at five, girl. But I would say that the moment I turn off that alarm, or those five alarms, I should say, I put the phone right back down. Do not waste your morning feeding into any negativity, whether it's an annoying text message or social media. Do not let negativity start your day. Put that phone down, girl, and go about your routine. So my first step is going to be making my bed. I was never one to make my bed. I mean, when I was younger, I did. I don't know what that was about. But now it's just so hard because it's like it's felt pointless because I'm going to get in it at the end of the night anyways. But I'm not going to lie. You do feel more productive, like you accomplish something. It really doesn't take that long. I don't know why I used to think it takes 10 minutes to fix your bed. It literally took me three minutes. And I'm not going to lie, when you walk into your room and see your bed made, and when you lay into a made bed, it hits so different than a messy bed. It really does. So the next, and I would say most important thing, is hydration. Like, you're going all those hours of sleeping, not hydrating your body. So make sure you get a big glass of water and rehydrate yourself. I also take this time to take any vitamins or anything I need to take in the morning. I actually saw this post on Instagram that it said all bad bitches have to take Linzess every day. And I felt that on a spiritual, okay? IBS girls stand up. <laughs> wanted to interrupt the video to say good morning i i am tired i haven't been drinking coffee all year so it's been kind of hard to get energy in the morning are my pjs so cute they're like little shorts i have been in my matching pj era and it's been the best thing ever like literally the best thing Alright, let's get on with the morning routine. Okay, so I had to switch up the routine that it could work for my lifestyle better. I kind of stopped drinking coffee this year, not for any specific reason. I just wasn't feeling the taste. So my first like actual productive step would be to clean up. So sometimes when I get home at night, like I'm tired, I throw things around. In the morning, I take time and I pick up whatever mess I made so that my house, my room looks good. So today I did have some leftover laundry that has been just sitting and staring at me every single day. So I just folded that up and put that all away. Now I go into my journaling, reading the word and praying. So I would normally do this before, like first thing, but I don't have coffee. And if I was to do this right away, I would fall asleep, which is bad. But anyways, so I always start with praying and reading the Bible. I'm actually doing this devotion on the Bible app. It's called Breaking from Habitual Sin. And it's cool. It gives you a devotion to read and some verses. And I always keep my physical Bible next to me just because I prefer reading from a physical Bible. And I just like the like act of actually highlighting a verse and all of that. This is basically like the everyday journal prompt that I do. It's three things I'm thankful for, three wins I had yesterday, and three wins I want for today. Practicing gratitude is so important for me. Like, literally, when you have a grateful heart and a grateful mindset, life just shifts in such extreme ways. So even just taking the time to even think about three things you're thankful for can make the biggest difference. And it's also a huge, like, motivator, too, because it's like you already have all the things that you wish you once desired and once you realized the growth you already made, it's easier to go out 
and reach your new goals. You guys, this is probably the hardest part of my morning routine and it's just trying to get some type of workout in. In 2024, I told myself we're gonna prioritize health because y'all, in 2023, I said, if I want the Oreo, I'm gonna eat the Oreo. And I ended up having a lot of Oreos. So we're trying to bring it back, okay? So if I could at least work out three times a week, that would be ideal for me now. It's just like the goal of moving my body and getting into that healthy lifestyle. But I'm not one of those hard curl girls, okay? Miss me with that hit. Miss me with the jumping up and down and all that intense stuff. I did yoga, okay? We're doing it nice and soft. Okay, so now is basically when you follow up with your personal hygiene routine, however that may look for you in the mornings. I did take a shower because I broke a sweat with that yoga video. I was like, oh my gosh, I was sweating. But anyways, I took a shower and then I really just followed up with my regular skin routine, brushing my teeth, doing my skincare, all of that. If you're interested, this is the morning skincare lineup lately. It's been going really good for me. She's hydrated. She's smooth. Love her. Okay, now we're moving on to my favorite part of my morning. Literally getting ready is just so satisfying and therapeutic and fun for me. I remember when I was little, I used to just be up at 1, 2 a.m. doing my makeup, doing my hair, and just to take a picture, and I would literally wash it all off and go to bed. Like, it's just so fun for me. I love the process of getting glam. Today, honestly, I wasn't really going anywhere. So I honestly just rebrushed my hair, brushed on a little bit of makeup, but even that is so satisfying to me. So normally during the getting ready process, I will listen to music and just vibe out, which don't get me wrong, that's amazing. But it's also really cool to kill two birds with one stone and use this as an opportunity to either like listen to an audiobook or even watch a podcast. I found a new one. It's called A Better You by Fernanda Ramirez. I literally love her. She's so motivating. Like, she's so cute. I just want to hug her. Like, she's my friend in my head, to be honest. But yeah, literally just using this as a moment for self-development, motivation. We're cutting two birds with one stone, babe. So since I wasn't going anywhere at the moment, I just put on some comfy house clothes. I got my skin set on. We love some skims. And then now this is probably like my second favorite part of the morning because this smoothie, <gasps> y'all, it is so good. Like I literally look forward to it every single day. It is nothing magical. Like I'll put the recipe right here. It is nothing new, but there is just something about it that just is so like it gives you energy. It fills you up. And you just feel happy when you drink it. So <laughs> I love her. so that's the end of my morning routine literally my favorite part is this smoothie it's literally so good i'm obsessed with it it's really the morning routine that i've been trying to establish for myself and it's been going pretty good so far normally by now i'll literally just leave and go to work but i'm actually off today and i don't really have to do anything until later and it's literally nothing crazy i go to the post office <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this morning routine. If you have any recommendations on things you should implement or if you have your own morning routine, feel free to leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.